we make the vehicle able to operate in all kinds of environmental conditions. Thermally, we care about how the occupants feel inside the cabin. We care about how all the electronics components are able to handle their own heat and also the heat from the environment around it. We test both in test chambers or wind tunnels as well as in the real world. We have a vehicle that is our primary test asset. We instrumented that vehicle with a whole bunch of sensors. We have over 300 sensors that we're monitoring at all times at any given test to make sure that we're meeting all our performance targets. Before we go to any test, we actually define a whole bunch of parameters that we're looking for. So for a test to be successful, all those different identified parameters have to meet their expected value. That's a big part of our trip planning so that we're not just collecting data and then figuring out what to do with afterwards. But in fact, we're going there with a very specific mission, looking for certain attributes to be at a certain value and then verifying that we're meeting those. One of our biggest challenges and innovations is how we treat HVAC inside the cabin. We have to develop the controls that understand the human condition inside the cabin and adjust the HVAC accordingly with very little input from the occupants. The bi-directionality of the vehicle makes it difficult for thermal. So if we're going forwards or backwards, the thermal performance will be different. Most traditional vehicles on the road right now the radiator is kind of in front of the vehicle, and that's always the direction in which it's driving. For us, making that balance for the two systems, getting the most that we can out of the front system when it's front, but allowing the rear system to operate effectively is the unique challenge with our architecture. Our goal for Thermal is that the rider can be comfortable in all conditions, getting there safely to their destination, and in the background, all of our components are running at their optimum temperatures. 